TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, Snapchat Stories, Reddit Posts, Tweets. These are the main apps I was addicted to scrolling on. I was scrolling when I was in bed. I was scrolling when I woke up, when I went to the toilet, while brushing my teeth, while eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, while walking my dog. Oh my goodness. Scrolling is a part of everyone nowadays. It's hard to see because social media is so entertaining, but it is stripping us of our creativity. Becoming a consumer, someone that contains all this useless information, is killing your lizard brain. And the best way I counteracted this problem for myself was becoming a creator. Once you create on social media, the way you look at it changes forever. You start scrolling productively. You start looking for sounds to use, inspiration for videos. You start analysing every single bit of information, what creators should and shouldn't do, what's working for them and what will work for you. I think everyone watching this video should actually seriously think about becoming a content creator. And when I say that, I don't mean you have to be this massive influencer that's trying to tackle these big problems or that you have to post a certain thing or even post the videos I make. But what I mean is sharing what you love, sharing your interests. What I love seeing is accounts that just post whatever they want. You could literally make an account today of your artwork, of you sketching just anime characters. You can make an account today of your favourite game and go over the law and dive deep into it. You could post day in the laughs, even if you're a normal guy like myself. You could post tutorials of some sort or studying tips. You could do so much, there is not a reason not to do it. But I already know what you're going to say. You're just waiting for the perfect moment to start. Well, let me tell you something. There is no perfect time to start. There is never going to be a perfect time to start that account. There's never going to be a perfect time for you to get that idea out of your head. You just have to do it now. It's funny because when you say you're waiting for the perfect time, how come that time hasn't come yet? There clearly isn't a perfect time, otherwise it would have came already. I can say in my experience, I didn't wait for a perfect time. I was already posting goofy TikToks trying to be a face man. I had different things in mind, alright, we're not going to get into that. But it took me one day after work, just talking to my uncle, and it just made me do it. And the next day... I just did it. Now, if you don't have someone to talk to that's going to motivate you or try to help you to build that account, that's why you're watching that video and that's why I'm here. I want to be that person for you. And the best advice I can give is for you, either right after this video or the next day, for you to just pick up your phone, pick up that camera, I don't care what it is, and just record something. It doesn't have to be perfect. The angles don't have to be right. The lighting doesn't have to be right. The editing quality doesn't have to be there just yet because it will be your first video. And after that, once you make video after video after video, you're going to see that the process is such a beautiful thing to look back on. You're going to see how you've changed and grown as a person. I've learned so many things about myself just by creating content. And that's even before I was getting 10 views, 100 views, 1,000 views. Because none of that matters at the start. It's the getting the videos out that does. It is honestly one of the best ways to express yourself. Once you get over the fact that, yeah, sure, you're going to have a couple people hating on your page. You're going to have people commenting stuff you don't like or even DMing you. But at a certain point, you have to realise and stop caring and stop thinking that people care what you do. Because they don't. After that one interaction, that one back and forth, they go off with their day and so do you. You know what? I want you to ask yourself right now, what am I good at? Is there just one thing that I know for sure that I'm good at? And if you can't think of that, ask yourself, what am I interested in? Is there one thing that I like that I'm interested in that holds my attention that I can share with others? I don't care if it's the nerdiest thing, the goofiest thing. I want you to just let it out and get it out there. I want you to start now. I'm not going to lie. I'm craving it. I'm dying for it. And once you start your journey and you're finally on this new path, this new chapter, it doesn't even have to be a main thing. It can be a little side hobby on the side and you're just checking in every now and then. 
and you see the growth of your account, it is one of the most rewarding things to see people like what you like. You can connect with so many other people. You can even receive DMs, people telling you that you just made their day, that you just made their week better. I know it's not to boost your ego or to your own horn, but I'm not gonna lie, it does feel nice when I receive DMs like that and when I see comments on my YouTube videos. Thank you and thank you for 10k. But boy, I tell you, ever since I started creating social media videos, ever since I started creating content, I've been telling everyone I know please start creating something and if they're watching this they know i have and some of them still haven't started i want you to start you know who you are and if you like free stuff then you might as well start because you get a lot of free stuff too uh, of course i'm joking i don't want to fuck up any future collabs and etc anyway 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 what i've noticed too is that my attention spam has finally made a return you know because short form content is really popular it really motivates you to scroll. And when you see a video, you've already rewatched it a million times or you've seen it come up before. You just scroll and scroll and scroll until you see something you like. And I remember when people used to scroll to watch YouTube long forms and that is way more engaging. I found myself getting bored easily or struggling to watch an entirety of a video and it could have just been eight minutes of my time, which is really nothing. And it could have been something I used to be interested in because you start to realize, hold on, I can't sit straight for five minutes. I think something's wrong with me, but you should wake up and realize that social media doesn't have to use you. You can use social media because this whole time you've been supporting other creators, which is nice and all, but it's time for you to get the support and recognition you deserve. You ever just be in a conversation with somebody and you start zoning out? I'm talking about a serious zone out where you keep going, huh? What? You start looking at them and they're a bit blurry. <laughs> I honestly do think social media scrolling does contribute to that because it is literally eating away at your concentration. You're not concentrated when you're scrolling through these videos and entertaining yourself, even if you're doing it just to pass time. And I won't dare to ask the last time you read a book, because let me guess, books are boring. And one of the only reasons my opinions changed on that is because I got all of the Dexter books. For those who know, they know. So I've just been reading. The first one still has been taking me a while, but it's been following me everywhere. That's another story for another day. If you're not convinced, my friend, the only thing I can suggest is actually having a productive explore page for you page feed. By this, I mean have it in an interest you're interested in. No more following just funny accounts, meme pages, none of that. Have it in something that you like or something based around what you do for work or content that motivates you to get up and do something now instead of procrastinating and spend all these hours on these apps. There's a difference between, you know, just passing the time and wasting time on social media. I've never been high. But the dopamine rush from a video doing well compared to the dopamine rush of scrolling on social media are two different things. So now on your day to day, when you're on social media, catching yourself hitting a little scroll, just remember to create more, waste less, be a creator not a consumer if you enjoyed the video i'd appreciate if any of you would like to support me on patreon for exclusive content the link is in the description mcgahn